share. Hello, everybody. Um, go away. Okay. Uh, key sides. Go away. Um, that's a mod I made. But uh, yeah, it's not full. It's a demo. Uh, but anyways, today we're playing the soft mod. Yay, soft mod. Soft mod. Soft mod. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not even going to uh, do an intro because I'm just so excited to play the soft mod. So let's just get right into it. Soft mod. Here we go. New grounds. The soft team presents. Ayo. Dialo. FNF. Soft mod. Ooh. Ayo. Why does he look like stressed? Anyways, warning: this mod handles topics that may. Okay, read this, guys, because I can't read. Haha, <laughs> funny. But if you have any of these, just uh, don't watch this video. Here we go. In preference, here we go. Load. The city of stars. A place where the celebrities and the rich live lavishly. And the not so fortunate struggle to be thrived day by day. Two boys have been on the run for two weeks, are spotted dashing into an alleyway as the sun begins to set over the skyline. High school dropout and notorious graf graffiti. Gra I know that word. I just can't pronounce it. Ah. Graffiti? I don't know. I think it's graffiti. Yeah, graffiti. Graffiti artist named Pico. And BF. A blue haired boy with on the somewhat shorter side with aspirations of becoming a painter. The two come to a halt, visible out of breath. Another coast call. Oh, blah, blah. Another coast call. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. This is the third time this week that we've only that we've almost been caught. Uh, I know. With them plastering your face all over the town, it's inventable. In inventable that someone will eventually find us. I don't know if that if I read that word right. I don't care. We both know the settle. The, blah, blah. We both know how they settle things. Why am I going Russian? Okay. We need to prepare for it. I told you running away wasn't a good idea. I can't do this. What if? BF. When he. Baby Blue. <laughs> Baby Blue. You worry too much. I've got you back every step of the way. How about we do a practice round? Repeat after me. Three, two, one, go! Look at this. <laughs> Oh, 
miss that. You did great. I knew you could do it. Really? Mm-hmm. Though, we should probably get a move on before footsteps can be heard at the entrance of the alleyway, interrupting their heart-filled conversation. Hmm? Mm. There you are. in the back. <laughs> Get away from him! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hang on. A man stepped out of the shadows. He goes by the name of Father Fearest. Ferris. A rather rap battler that... Hang on. A rather rap battle of uh, rather retired idiot. A retired rap battler who whose name is as well known by the youth by the youth at it <clears throat> as it is by the generations before them. What? Okay. His voice was claimed to be flame. His voice was claimed to flame, but nowadays he lives very off, very, very well off with his beautiful wife. <clears throat> and, an, and up until a few weeks ago, his talented son, Sport, we've been looking for you. <sighs> hmm, seems, it seems, la la la. Hmm, I see you're running in a around with that street rat again. Nice to see you, too. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I can explain. So, you think you're gonna go... You're all grown up now. You're such an adult. What was that? <clears throat> then you should have no problem beating me in a rap battle. Huh? Come on, sport. Show me what you got. Three, two, one, go! Why does this seem like normal? Uh, Twist. I did hard, right? Uh, listen to the boys in the Because that's already Pico. You sound just as good as your old man. It's, it's a real shame that you're pulling all that talent to waste. <sighs> hey, don't listen to him, Softy. Your mother and I built this perfect life for you. So you could become a star. And you want to be what? A painter? Doesn't that just sound ridiculous? Just listen to me for once. Speak up. I can't hear you. It's my life. Oh, is it now? 
One more song, I don't know. Hmm. You know, it's been a real pain trying to find you these past couple weeks. Hmm. Let's make a deal, hmm? Oh, I think this is a I think this is an original song. If you can beat me in this next song, we can we can forget all uh, we can forget this all ever happened. <laughs> really? Really. Don't trust him, B. I. <sighs> okay. I guess it's time you to finally whip. What? Wait, what? Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I guess it's time to finally whip you into shape. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, this is...
Come on, sport. We never raised an idiot. Excuse me? That's not how you talk to your child. You didn't actually think I was leaving empty-handed, did you? Oh! Ah! No, no, st stay away from me! Keep your hands off of him. Ugh. Pico! Come on. I know a place where we can hide. Chapter two. Ooh. Oh, they're cute. Hang on. Give me a second. Oh, my God. Alrighty, there we go. I left the call. Alrighty, chapter two. Um. Alrighty. The moon had risen over the sky's cityscape after the sun went to rest its head for the for the night. Clouds joined in to keep to keep it company, creating a stormy ruckus into the into it, it to keep it awake. Blah, blah. Our pro protagonists found themselves taking cover in a building which was a long overdue which was long overdue for visit. Or at least that's what they had thought. It was near impossible to see their to see three feet in front of them <clears throat> when there wasn't a strike of lightning to brighten up the room. Leaving the two on edge. I don't know about this place, Pico. You got a well, you got a better place to hide? No. But an abandoned mansion? It's scary. It's unsettling. It's... It's... It's a spooky! Yeah, exactly. You took the words... Wait. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth, Pico. That wasn't me. Huh? Then who... Hi, misters! Oh! <laughs> Hi, misters! Beep! Relax, it's just a couple... <clears throat> Wrong voice. Relax, it's just a couple of kids. What the hell are you two doing here? I'm Skid, and this is Pump! We're doing the spooky things during the smoke... The spooky month! Spooky month. It's November. Isn't it a bit late? Hush. Let them be. <clears throat> hey, wait. You look familiar. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your dad is super famous. Also, we've seen your face on your face on posters all over town. <sighs> <clears throat> My mom has tapes of Mr. Ferris singing. We watch them all the time. Hey, hey, hey! Can you sing too? Um, well... Y yes Then let's do a rap battle! Probably not the best idea. Please! Aw, uh, alright, little dudes. You've got to be kidding me. Three, two, one, Oh, they're four. so cute! Look at that! <laughs> What's this 
scared in Wow, you guys are way tougher than I thought. That was fun! Let's do another. Oh, uh, you want to keep going? Sure. We can even show you the spooky dance this time. Spooky dance? Yeah. It's where you kind of crouch and then you dance. We'll show you. Hmm. I'm not. Ac I'm actually not much of a dancer. But one more go shouldn't hurt. Are you sure about this, babe? You look like you need to sit down. It'll be fine, Pico. We're just kids looking for fun. I don't want to let them down. Yay! Three, two, one, go! In what f felt like a blink of an eye, everyone disappeared. Jeff was alone, with the only sound of raindrops hitting the creaky roof above him. Except for the other, th for one other thing. A tall, slender beast, beast stood where the two kids once were. 
He looked so familiar. Probably because it's his visits were more than common. But it was a lot more than just that. What? No! Not you again! Oh my god! Why are you here? Why now? What do you even want? I don't know why I bother asking anymore. Leave me alone! Please. I'm tired of this. Three, two, one, go! Oh! New song! Softy, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What happened? You were unresponsive. It was him again. Who? Are you okay? Yeah, it's over. At least for now. Wait, where are the kids? I don't know, man. They said something about getting a candy cane. Candy can? Don't worry, though. They got rid of something. <clears throat> Wait, what? Don't worry, though. They got a ride from someone in a white van. Wow. You know, I'm not good with kids. They what? Did I say something wrong? <gasps> Let's just get out of here. This place give me, gives me the creeps. Beep. On second thought, maybe we should stay here until the morning. For clarification, no 
how spooky boys were harmed in the creation of this chapter. <laughs> Alright, chapter three. That's girlfriend. Play date stay. It's complicated. After what felt like a never ending night, both Pico and BF were quite easily the opposite of well rested. The two did not want to overstay their welcome, however, and left the house of horrors, which was actually a lot less scary than in the daytime. On foot, they spent a better part of the morning heading across town to a local train station. The last thing that they wanted to do was stick around long enough to get into even more trouble. Where's that damn train? Relax, he'll be here soon, I'm sure. It better come quick. I've already been s set back twice. Yeah, I know. BF! Hmm? I haven't seen you in weeks. Hey, Jeff. What are you doing here? Oh, you know. Just out and about. Hey, you know what would be fun? A duet, just like the old times. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to catch a train. We'll be done before it shows up. I promise, it'll be quick. And you know how I feel about promises. Okay. Son of a... Three, two, one. Spooky Kid's mother. I forgot her name. Wow, you handled that first song like a champ. You're always be the better singer. You know, your parents and I 
have worried sick about you. <gasps> when are you gonna come back? I... You are coming back, right? I'm not, GF. I'm sorry. Oh, enough of that silly talk. Maybe this will change your mind. Three, two, one. should be going now. BF, tell me something. Why are you so interested in, interested in this criminal? Criminal? Can we please not do this right now? It was supposed to be the two of us since the beginning. You promised. Our parents promised. Why are you doing this to us? To me! Jeff, you don't understand! You remember what I- what he did back in high school, right? He's the whole reason we had to get private- to What? I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. You're a little. You're literally picking a school shooter over me! You know damn well that's not what I. what's. what happened that day. Without. without him, you and I could have died. No! Mom and Dad told me so. They would have never lied to me. Listen. No, you listen, you liar. You're coming home with me and we're going to live our hap- <clears throat> And we're going to live our hap- And we're- Restarting. You're coming home with me and we are going to live out our happily ever- ha What? We are going to live out our happily ever after. <clears throat> Together!
That life we, they made for us doesn't exist. It's not fair! Why? Why him? I, I can't hope who I love, GF. Neither can I! How, how could you do this to me? Oh man. Gee, don't be like that. We're still best friends. We can still hug things out, right? God, a while a white limo came to a screeching halt at the front of them. Uh, softy, not to interrupt or anything, but we've got a problem. Oh God. Chapter four. Mother knows best. Ooh. While in the middle of a stressful conversation, our two boys were swept up from the streets faster than a light. <clears throat> Startled, they glanced at in all directions, yet they could only find to find the wind in their hair, cars flashing by, and an unwelcome yet beautiful face. Mother Marist. <laughs> Hi, Mom. There's my sweet little baby. 
been oh, so worried about you. I'm okay, I swear. Oh, darling, you know how Mama worries. You've had your fun, but I think it's time to come home. Don't you? Mom? I... No. Huh? But honey, I need a yes. Oh! Three, two, one. See how ridiculous this is, don't you? What do you mean? Well, it, it's obvious. My, per my perfect little boy has his mind tainted by that pest. Filling your head with all kinds of lies. Oh! All I've ever done is love and care for him. That's more than... <clears throat> that's more than... You or your monsters... Monster of a husband can say. Pico? Zip it. There's nothing wrong with it. With our family. We love you so much. Why don't you just come with me? I'm sorry, Mom. I, I'm not going with you. <sighs> Fine. Be that way. Three, two, one, go. go. Here's my favorite song of week four.
Enough of this! I have tried and tried and tried to make you see what mistake you're making. Clearly, you're too stupid to see that. That is not how you talk to your child. Stop! You better drop this act and learn to respect your m mother in this is this instant or else <gasps> okay i've had enough of this soft beat soft beat silence i don't know if that's a bad word and i don't want to say if it is say it if it is you can't decide things for him She's right. What? I have to decide for myself. And I have decided to live the life I want to live. You've always been such a pathetic... You've always had... S okay. You've always been such a pathetic excuse of a son. <gasps> no. Bad parenting. little brat I'm gonna make you regret ever thinking you had a choice in all this softy huh jump babe I love you well, we're on a top of we're on the top of a moving car are you crazy do it trust me I do it or do you trust me Yes. Then on, the count of, then on the count of three, close your eyes and jump. One. Wait a minute. Two. Isn't there like a B plan or something we could try? Three. Chapter five. Okay. 
despite being battered and bruised, Pico and Bia find a, a find a, a place in one another's company. While healing the treacherous mouth flies by which they spend tending to wounds, soon the boys feel well and brave enough to face the streets one, once again. Signs of uh, signs of holly, h- holiday season litter the scene with snowflakes dancing in the air, golden bells ringing, and the children laughing. A crowd of strangers whispers into another in excitement, waiting beside a sign that reads, Annual Holiday Fairest Meet and Greet. Two boys enjoy the winter season with smiles, distracted by one another's company. I don't believe you're actually wake- making me wear this. What? You look adorable. Oh, he looks so cute. I'm sorry, but he looks so cute. You cannot deny that he looks so cute. I know. That's the problem. Come on, Tuffy. It's our first time out. And about a month ag- In about a month, at least. Try to enjoy. Come on, Tuffy. It's our first time out in about a month. At least try to enjoy it. There they are. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Crap. A crowd. Oh no. What day is it? Seventeenth. Why? Our son. That's why. Just in time for the holidays. We... We were beginning to fear the worst. How about we celebrate, sport? And finally get you home. Three, two, one, go! Oh, he was scared. You know, if you just did as you were told, you wouldn't need to wear that damn sweatshirt all the time. You have nothing to hide. You could actually call yourself a man. Now be a good son and listening to your parents this is instant. Don't call me your son! Hmm? You... 
You tried to make me a mindless slave. <gasps> oh! Just like Gio's parents did to her. Shut it! No! Parents aren't supposed to... Parents are supposed to protect and care about their children. You took my dreams. <clears throat> my happiness. My trust in others. My childhood. For so long I thought that we... That... <clears throat> that was what love truly was. For... For so long I thought that was what love wa truly was. That's really hard to say. But in reality, you were never my parents. And never will be. Pico, hit it! You got it, babe. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> next song where he screams because I've seen people say that he screamed. Oh yep, here it is. Oh my god. Pico You say something for once, damn it. You know I never really understand I understood what you were. <clears throat> But I know very well who you are. Well, you're supposed to be... Anyways, things are different now. You don't scare me anymore. They don't scare me anymore. I'm done letting you take control... <clears throat> my. Oh, I'm done letting you or anyone take control of my life. This ends now. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. He's gonna scream. Oh. <laughs> Why did I say, oh, here we go. He's gonna scream. Why? He's crying. Why is he crying? Is that actually Pico?
happy. I've never had parents like this because I love my parents. My parents are awesome. But if you, if anybody goes through this, and I, I just feel bad for you guys. If somebody's hurting you, don't let them. Go get a, like, even you can, you can just even talk to your teacher about it, and they'll understand. If you're being hurt. Don't do you don't just let them hurt you. Go get someone else that you trust. If you guys are being hurt. Don't let them hurt you. Go get someone to help. Alrighty, enough of the speech. The speech, quote unquote. Speech. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, anyways, here we go. Playing. Continue playing the mod. <gasps> hmm. <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay, baby blue? It's over. It's finally over. It's a long way from being over, sweetheart. But I think I get what you mean. Where did they? I don't even want to know. Um. Anyways, how about we go grab some hot chocolate and find a place for the rest of the night? What? Excuse me. What? Sounds like a plan. Okay. Weird. After an emotional encounter with the Ferris couple, Pico and BF seek shelter for the upcoming days. Thankfully, they're able to find such a comfort in, react in relaxing in the company of each other. The weight feels like as though it has been lifted from their shoulders, and for once, they feel the slightest bit of e at ease. Later that fateful night, BF decides to rest his head, only this time within the conf con confines of his dream, he meets an oddly familiar face. Uh, huh? Where am I? Beep! Boyfriend. Hmm? Who? <gasps> you were... What do you want? Skidoo beep! Sing off? I mean, I guess. Oh, there's girlfriend! Three, two, one, go!
on this. Because I suck. Three, two, one, go! Yes, one more time. See you in the next one. Good.